hello everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's topic we're going to talk about abdominal pain so let's get started so let's begin with the case um, in this case a 25 year old male present um, to the emergency department with a 24 hour history of abdominal pain. The pain initially started around the umbilicus area or umbilical area and later um, migrated to the right lower quadrant. He also reports associated symptoms such as nausea, a um, few episodes of vomiting and uh, loss of appetite. So let's move on to patient history and physical examination. Now, um, in this case, uh, the patient reported no history of note, but it's important to ask it anyway. So he report no, no history of um, allergies, no significant past medical history, um, no family history of um, GI disease or gastrointestinal disease and he does not take any regular medication. Now moving on to the physical examination. The patient appeared to be uncomfortable at rest and when you ask him to lie down on the bed, it seems to aggravate the pain. Um, the vital signs are uh, a low grade fever at 39 degree, a heart rate of 95 beat per minute, his blood pressure 130 over 80 and his respiratory rate was about 18 breaths per minute. So you move on to examine uh, his abdomen, his tender on palpation of the right lower quadrant, the symptoms of gardening and rebound tenderness. You also find on palpation there is a positive rough sing sign. So let's move on to the differential diagnosis. So based on the history and physical examination, here our differential diagnosis. Okay, acute appendicitis, gastroenteritis, ectopic pregnancy, obviously only in females, ovarian torsion, again only in females, um, renal colic. However, um, based on the characteristic migration of pain to the right lower quadrant from the umbilical area or region, um, the symptoms suggest acute appendicitis. So moving up to the uh, diagnostic workup, so um, initial tests would be like some blood test which will definitely include a full blood count, uh, user knees and um, um, you know, CRP and ESR, which are the inflammatory blood test. It is very common that you have raised um, Y cell counts. And uh, sometimes you may also have raised inflammatory markers. In this case, um, imaging technique or imaging, imaging studies are crucial for um, actual diagnosis or confirmation. Usually this could be like a um, abdominal ultrasound, which is very useful. However, the gold standard would be um, a CT scan abdo pelvis, and that will give you uh, a detailed visualization of the appendix and any kind of like complication uh, associated with it. Now let's move on to diagnosis. So um, you get the results of the blood test, which showed a suspected elevated wild cell count of 14 and the CT scan confirmed or revealed an enlarged appendix um, and you know, wall thickening and basically confirming the acute appendicitis. Management of acute appendicitis typically involves uh, surgical intervention. The standard treatment is appendectomy. Uh, which will be uh, performed laparoscopically. Uh, this is a preferred method of treatment and obviously uh, additional treatment would be 
IV fluid and antibiotic um, to cover for any common uh, pathogens and pain management and early uh, mobilization are part of the treatment. So what are the key learning points? So the most important thing I think in regards to appendicitis is to recognize the classic presentational uh, presentation of appendicitis which include a pain that may be radiating to the right lower quadrant, which is, is the hallmark of diagnosis, a good history, um, a good um, examination which will guide you through all the differential diagnosis which we listed uh, previously, and depending on the setting, um, imaging techniques, imaging studies such as abdominal ultrasound or a CT scan, and then the importance of um, timely surgical intervention is important all right we are coming to the end of the video so let's address some common questions that may arise in regards to appendicitis so what are some atypical presentation of this condition well it can present um, sometimes with atypical symptoms um, such as vague abdominal pain back pain or even urinary symptoms um, those more at risk are pregnant women and elderly individuals. So, can appendicitis be managed non-surgically? Well, most likely um, no, but um, there may be some cases where the, the surgery may be delayed um, just because the patient need um, treatment first with antibiotic. However, the success rate is much more higher with surgery. So that is the definite treatment. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and it has helped you to understand better acute appendicitis. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and more medical cases will be available in the next couple of weeks. And if you have any query, any question you'd like me to cover or topics, just leave a comment below and I'll see you the next time.